right, that uh, bit there, exploring the jungle island, exploring, uh, you know, the jungle side of the island and all that, blah, blah, blah over there. That was a bit of what I call operational creep, when I forget what the hells I'm doing. So, anyway, I was going to show you the ravine, so I'll do that. Back door to the ravine. Not where I came into the ravine. So anyway, I was over here, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get into the ravine. And there's, you know, a couple of different ways. One, you could just, you know, fall in. Not particularly useful or fun. Um, two, I could carve a staircase down the side. Um, but I wasn't sure where I was going to build, and I didn't want to start marring the the surface yet. Because then you'd have to put it back the way it was. And this is just kind of annoying. Um... Three, you can make a water stair, uh, a water elevator, like so. I'm um, just going to make sure I'm not over the lava. So you put water like that, and it makes on, it flows all the way down. You can swim all the way down it and swim all the way back up it. Um, I'm not going to. The area that it's filling down there, see where that little area it's filling, that's where I found the uh, slimes. But uh, I didn't want to do that, because just in case there was lava there or something, I didn't want to screw that up. So I had stumbled upon this while I was exploring. Like I figured, because there's two waterfalls in there, one of them probably connected up to the surface. And from the correct angle, this over here being the correct angle, you can see the larva. So this is a water elevator. This goes all the ways down. Now you want to be careful because you can see that our breath is running out. So you just kind of get to the side real quick and you can jump back in. Well, I didn't need to, but uh, all the way to the bottom. So I got down here, I, I killed a zombie or something, planted a torch, came around this way, started digging this out, digging, digging, diggy, dig, dig, and uh, then came back over here and I spotted that area up there. So, I dug this up to here. So it's going to take a staircase around, and I found these uh, caves. And uh, I always go up first, so I ran up here, throwing down torches, jamming the cave, throwing the torches, jamming the cave. Came over here and went, ooh. So, when I build the cave manor, creep out to the edge real careful like. I'm going to build a balcony overlook here so that uh, we can admire our larva and our waterfall. Very picturesque. So anyway, I came back to jam in the cave. Jam, jam. Throw down torches as you run. The faster you jam the cave, the safer they are, generally speaking. Um, came out to here and I spotted... Was it this one? Yes, right in there was a slime. So I worked my way over, carved a couple staircases down, killed it, and came back up. And right over here. Anyway, so I came back in here, finished jamming this cave, which I should have finished exploring at first. It was dangerous to stop you can spawn monsters behind you, but uh, as you see, this is a boring cave. Um, I didn't mine any of the resources out of here, so, like, some of these caves are pretty dry for resources. Uh, you can see some iron over there, and uh, one of these floors here has, uh, ouch, has, uh, where was it? Where's the gold? Where's me gold? There it is. There's some gold down there. And there's that blue gemstone that... Probably sapphires. I don't know. I've still been, you know, too lazy to look it up and figure out what it is. Um, you can turn it into blue dye. Is pretty much the only use for it. And uh, now that you can make uh, armor dyes, so you can actually dye your armor... 
And then uh, I came up and jammed this cave real quick, because that's how I found it. Oh wait, no, I'd already done this one. Derp, derp, derp. -a. So after having done those caves, um, how did I get to the other side again? I don't remember. Obviously I didn't go through the center because there's no staircase there. I think I came around the solid like this and uh, ran along the edge here. Oh, no, I, I came along that side very carefully and came down the water over there. Um, right. Ah! Ah, oh, we're down. That worked. Um, so there's some caves down here. Ooh, skeleton! 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 See, these caves are not perfectly safe. Um, there's going to be a couple dark spots here and there where monsters can still gen. And you can see that my XP is not nearly as high as it is in the screenshots. That's because when uh, I was trying to do the video earlier, I did the ravine first and uh, suffocated on my way down that stupid elevator and died. Ah, oh, jeez, it was so freaking horribly stupid. <sighs> felt uh, felt kind of dumb. Anyway, uh, gold. Oyernsk. More gold. Gold's kind of useless. Um, you can make golden apples with it, but since your health regens anyway, it's kind of pointless. Uh, that's just a little water inlet over there. Over there. Um, don't think there's anything interesting, terribly interesting up here. Just some cave. Yep, that was uh, terribly uninteresting. cave areas. Um, to get down there I pretty much just came along that edge and then jumped in the water, went down, and then came up the water and jumped back over. Uh, there's nothing down there. I just threw some torches. And this is the back side of that uh, little area we were just at up in the ravine. Rip goes down there and it comes all the way back up and around behind. And then there's this cave up here which is not terribly interesting. There's some stuff in it but you know it's actually a bit more uh, goodies in here. But nothing really valuable. The, the really interesting things were like I said earlier in those two previous caves. But now you have seen the ravine and let's see, oh no, I didn't die coming down, I died doing this. Showing you how to get back up this side. This side's actually kind of a bit more interesting than the other side. And it's actually easier to swim up. Oh, come on! What are you doing to me? Stupid waterfall. Um... And you could probably see it already, but this is the reason why swimming up this side is a bit easier. There's a couple of these spots here. Right? I think I stopped, got a breath, threw a torch. Uh. And of course you can do the very dangerous thing on waterfalls of jumping out for a second, grabbing a breath, jumping back in. Yes, it was ascending this waterfall that I died. It was almost to the top, and I started to drown. Start. Heck, I finished. So this time we are we are we aren't going to do that. No, we're going to be stupid about it. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get uh, breaths uh, here and there as we go up. Uh, 
There we go. And the last bit. And this is where I started drowning. And I thought I was going to make it. And I thought I was going to make it, and I died right, right frickin' there. So embarrassing. First and last death. Well, hopefully last death. But anyway, uh, that was the ravine. Um, and some creeper damage over here. Stupid creepers blowing up my land. So, we're gonna go park our butt in the house real quick. Again, real quick, more creeper damage over here. Stupid creepers. Oh, I didn't show you this. Okay, hold on. I'll show you this one. So, I uh, dug this up from the back. Do 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 Kind of a um, boring staircase. So, as I said, I had uh, dug up from the back side here. And then after I explored those areas, I came back over here and uh, just clambered up this because it didn't really need to do any digging here. Threw a couple torches and started digging up through here. This is the only really precarious spot. And then was digging up here and digging out this dirt when water just slammed me back all the way back down to here. And I fought my way back up dropped these two uh, blocks here and then uh, came in here and threw a couple torches around and I know most people kind of probably think this is boring but uh, I like these little underground uh, areas like this little air pocket with water in it. it's kind of cool maybe I'll make a uh, bit of a bath or uh, just carve this out a bit and make a uh, cistern in here or something because this is literally um, I think I figured it out and right above me here I placed a torch on the ground. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Coming out. Right behind me. Over one and over one. Forward one and forward. And there's the torch I placed. So I can dig down right here and make a, uh, a well cistern kind of deal a little bucket next to it or something. You get the ideas. Anyway, we're back home with all of our doggies. Yay! And, uh, this is actually the official sign out. You've now seen everything really special it has to do with the island group here. Except for those two caves over there. And, uh, I'll post in the forums uh, where you guys can vote on what I does next. Ciao.